Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Gold Prospecting at Home. This is the extended version of episode number 17 from Golden Pay Dirt Reviews, also known as Marty Mart 827 on eBay. I don't think they're in business anymore, um, but I will leave all that information in the description as always. And also, if you guys wanna see the clean, edited, polished version of this video that was originally filmed back in April 2018, I will link that in the description as always and in the corner right there. So um, this gold pay dirt was sent to me directly from the vendor. I know a couple episodes ago when I did the golden pay dirt, um, I, they had sent me a big nugget and that's when I thought that I wasn't going to accept any more gold pay dirt, but I think I already had this one in the mail. So of course I wasn't going to let it go to waste, but I failed to mention in the video that it could be a biased bag, which is what I think this may have been. Although he did have a guaranteed minimum amount of gold in his description and he was closer to the lower end of that. So it's also possible it wasn't, but at the same time, the top of the bag was ripped open and then taped closed. So it was really an iffy bag, and I failed to mention that during this video, but uh, you'll see it, and I'll, I'll be providing commentary throughout the video. And also, if you guys are enjoying these uh, extended version videos, definitely hit the thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, and let's get to the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Gold Prospecting at Home. Uh, I had a bag of pay dirt mailed to me um, from a guy called Golden Pay Dirt Reviews on YouTube. That's how I know him. His na first name is Martin. And I got the package over here. I didn't open it yet. And I'm trying to do some research on his stuff before I start the video because I don't want to open the pack. I want to do that live. So I'm trying to find his stuff. And I did find it on eBay here. But first I went to YouTube looking for his stuff. And you type in Golden Pay Dirt Reviews in YouTube and um, of course, Miller Prospecting comes up because Miller Prospecting used to be Gold, gold Pay Dirt Reviews, so that's why that comes up. And then I scrolled down, I, I couldn't really find anything on them. So I had to do another YouTube search, Golden Pay Dirt Reviews with no spaces, and it came up right here on top. So that's his YouTube channel. And I still couldn't find a website to buy his product to so I could show you guys so I went to Facebook I knew he had a Facebook page um, I did find this and then um, just a few posts down you can see that you can check out his eBay store so I went over to eBay I typed in Marty Mart 827 and of course a bunch of headphones and not gold came up so then I had to do a Google search on how to search by seller and I, I finally found how to how to get to his uh, product here. So you got to go to Google or go to eBay and search by seller, Marty Mart 827, and then you'll see his products here. Um, the one that he sent me in the mail is the one pound gold pay dirt with gems and crystals and much more. It's a $29.99 bag. All right. So in the description, it says one pound of gold pay dirt. This bag will yield anywhere from 0.3 to, to a half a gram of gold. You might find gems, crystals, garnets, tons of black sands, beautiful colors, and shiny 22 to 24 karat gold. Fines, flakes, and pickers, and more. Some bags may contain silver, silver coins, silver bars, gold and silver ore, gold specimens, and silver specimens. Since I've almost tried every bag of pay dirt available, I know what customers want. So this pay dirt is from Arizona. It's got beautiful colors and will make your panning experience fun and adventurous. That's pretty awesome. I never found a silver coin or silver bar or anything like that in a bag of pay dirt. So this should definitely be interesting. Uh, I would recommend, you know, maybe on every one of your YouTube videos, put a link to your eBay store or something like that. That would be just a recommendation. Make it a little bit easier for everybody to find your stuff. But let's check it out for ourselves over here at the panning station. All right, here's the package, Golden Pay Dirt Reviews. I guess that's the name of his company. I'm not sure if it's Marty Mart 827 or Golden Pay Dirt Reviews, but maybe he has something written down inside here that we can take a look at. Okay, there it is. You can see you can buy these bags of pay dirt on eBay. Seller's name is Marty Mart 827. Thanks, have a pan of full day. All right, man. So there it is, Marty Mart 827. I guess that is his company name. So, hey Shane, Clutch Guitars, hope you enjoy my golden pater. This is my $29.99 bag that weighs around 
on 13 ounces to one pound. Make sure you didn't get special treatment. I pulled this from 10 pre-made bags. These bags yield gold-wise uh, 0.3 to 0.6 with silver, gems, crystals, black sands, and much more. Thank you and have yourself a blessed day from Martin at Golden Pater Reviews. All right, let's take a look at it in the pan. Awesome. Well, it looks like it's a coffee bag. It's been taped over the top. It looks like it's been opened before and then resealed with tape. Um, here we have, oh, there's like a vial inside of there. I can't tell what's in it, but that's still pretty cool. I don't know if there's anything in it. It's a little cork bottle. There's some bigger rocks and stuff in there. We're definitely gonna have to classify this down. I'll probably run it through the plus 20 or 30 classifier. Yeah, cool. Let's chop it open. All right on. That is probably an amethyst right there. Light purple, that's pretty cool. Wow, check that out. Hey man. It's like metal detecting. 1942. Mercury silver dime. That's pretty cool. Uh, Denver mint mark. There's also some more stones in here that you can that I can see. Like this. There's a blue one here. Not sure what that is. If you guys could leave that in the comments, I'm I'm not a gem guy, but it's blue and white. Pretty cool. Let's pour it out and see what it looks like. Oh, there's all kinds of pyrite in there. I think what we're going to do, we're going to pick out all these gemstones and things, these minerals, and just set them off to the side. You know what, I think I'm going to classify it. That'll make it a lot easier. Turn it through a 30 mesh classifier here. There's some black sands in it, you can see. I'd say that's pretty well classified, the uh, plus and minus 30. So we'll throw this in a separate pan. We'll go ahead and remove the magnetite and pan them individually. Let's see if there's any magnetic stuff in here. Clicky, clicky, I can hear it. quite a bit of larger magnetic stuff. All right, let's check this stuff for magnetics. Oh yeah, lots. Lots of magnetics. I'll save all this magnetic stuff for later in my jar of black sand here. process that at a different video. Let's get the last of it out. All right, a quick thing about this portion of the video. So 
Here I'm removing the black sand using a magnet and then putting it directly into my jar and I was going to process it later, which is fine. But what I like to do nowadays is actually remove the magnetic material and put it in a separate pan and then actually pan it out just in case any gold got grabbed with the magnet, you know, being trapped in that black sand, which does happen sometimes. So um, yeah, this, what I did in the video, I don't, I no longer do that anymore. All right, we can pour this back in. And there we go, let's pan this out. Actually, let's pick, <laughs> it's already pretty scrap. I mean, it's only a 1942, but let's pick the bigger obvious stuff out and we'll set this aside and we'll pan this out. Here's the easy way to do it. Kitchen strainer. All right. Didn't get it all. Okay. Okay, so looking here through the the biggest classification, I see two pickers already. Right off the bat, there's one and two. That's gold, I can tell. Sweet, we'll put that over here on our silver dime. Now, there's another piece. I'm gonna have to be really careful in order to save all these gems. You know what? I really don't want the gemstones, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pan this like I normally would. That way I don't miss any gold. I mean, this would be a lot of fun for kids and stuff if you're, you know, Want to look through this stuff and find all those different gemstones, maybe identify the different stuff. All right, so I did find these three little pickers here. In here. Now, I don't know. I, I think the best way to separate the gold out of this would be to pan it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this over to Krusty Rusty in the kitchen sink, and we're going to pan off all this big, lighter stuff, and that'll leave us with just the gold. Um, that way... We'll make sure we don't miss any. We'll let gravity do the work. Yeah, this way here, if I pan it out in crusty rusty, we're not gonna lose any gemstones. We're just gonna, we'll be able to salvage them. Lots of cool looking colors and stuff in there. I, I can identify a few, but not everything. see any more gold. I think we got it all. All right, up next we have our plus kitchen strainer size. Let's see. Um, I have a feeling this is where we're going to find most of our uh, flakes of gold in here, but we'll see. There's some organic stuff floating off the top. See those little sticks and branches floating in the water there? I did put jet dry in it but I think it's just really light material that wants to float regardless of surface tension. All right. I can see some pyrite peeking through. Lots of pyrite, there's the gold at the very bottom. going yeah there we go nice little bit of gold yeah it looks like a bunch of flakes in there pretty cool I want to clean that up a little bit better without losing gold. Some of these flatter pieces want to do their own thing. See, I'm panning without even leaving the pan. I'm just making the lighter stuff come over to this riffle and then I can empty it all out at one shot. 
All right, we got it cleaned up pretty well. Except for that big chunk right there that we didn't want to go over. Two more pieces right there. All right, looks pretty good. Some nice flakes of gold there. There's a chunky, two or three chunky little pieces in there. Okay, cool. All right, next we have our minus 30 stuff right here. Fill her up with water. Yep, also this part of the video, I would not pan all of that minus 30 at once. I would do like one spoonful at a time and you'll see the trouble I have with it here in this video because I had so much in the pan. And that's another thing, the pan itself, which is the blue smooth pan with no riffles, I would never, I would never um, pan out that much material in that pan. That pan is for like, if I was to do one spoonful at a time, then you would pan it back, take, you know, grab the gold as you see it with the snuffer bottle, and that's how you do it. Which is also, um, I think this is the first gold prospecting at home video where I'm actually teaching um, the way that I still do it today, which is grabbing this, the uh, flower gold with the snuffer bottle as you see it. Um, you'll see me uh, talk about that here in just a second. Pan it down. down to the black sands at this point right now I'm just cleaning off the very top layers of that those blonde sands that are coming up to the top but we got most of that taken care of I think we're gonna have to spin it at this point there's just so much black sand that wasn't magnetic I can see little garnets in there it's like a silvery black sand almost like it's a whole bunch of dark mica it's real shiny Okay, so we're at the point where we have our gold up at the top here and we're lightly going back and forth with the water and little pieces of gold are starting to get away. So at this point, I'm gonna make the decision to take a snuffer bottle and start grabbing this stuff as I see it because otherwise it'll just take me forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start sucking up all the, the flower gold that I see and there's a lot of flower gold yeah, and to avoid this problem to begin with, don't pan, don't try panning this much paydirt at once. Just do a, sm a spoonful at a time, and it's so much easier. I, it would have taken me a fraction of the amount of time that this t that this has taken if I would have just done one spoonful at a time. And I'll just continue doing that. All right, sorry to interrupt the awesome video there, but we're gonna go ahead and answer a question as I always do in these extended version videos. Today's question comes from John Farrow, 5873. He says, have you ever ground down all the tailings from the big buckets that you got so that you could process the big rocks and see if there's a possibility of gold in them? So this is actually a more common question than I thought it would be. 
But people think that, most people tend to think that if you grind down these rocks in these gold pay dirt bags, that you're gonna find more gold because they think that grinding rocks produces gold for some reason. Now that is true for free mill gold and hard rock gold um, and de hard rock deposits. However, 99.9% .9 of all the gold pay dirt that you will ever do or I have ever done, it's just plaster concentrates, meaning that it's just dirt from a river. Um, unless there's mineralized quartz in there or some sort of tellurides or something that has gold containing in it, which is always gonna be specifically in the description of that pay dirt, then crushing plaster concentrates is pretty much just a waste of time. But it seems like a pretty common question, so I thought I'd answer that. And thanks, John Farrow, for asking. Until I don't see any more gold. So I don't know if I can get this on camera. However, take a look at how fine that black sand is. It's like super, super dusty fine. And this is the third time I'm going through this uh, bit of black sand. And you may be able to see over here, there's a whole bunch of flower gold still that I've been missing. So I'm, keep, I'm gonna keep going until I don't see any more gold. But yeah, this is a super challenging one. Just because the black sand is so fine and heavy, that the gold likes to move right along with it. So you have to continue doing it over and over and over again. Of course, an easier way would be to process it using mercury and that would just kind of take the fun out of it almost. But yeah, this is definitely a challenging one as far as getting the flower gold out. So let's keep going. I'm just slowly washing this black sand down and trying to leave all that gold sticking to the plastic there. Once we got all of our black sands down here, we're gonna tilt it forward, get our water up here. We'll tap all that gold up to the top. You can blow it up to the top with this. And there we go. I'm still missing a lot. Yeah. Now he says this is Arizona gold. Well, this reminds me a lot of Colorado gold, the super fine stuff. 
All right, let's go through it again. All right, we we got through that. It took about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to get through there. Let's put some fresh water in. Make sure this is all cleaned out. So in this part of the video is where um, I'm looking at the screen, watching this old video and kind of screaming at it like, man, you need a squirt bottle. And that is a squirt bottle. These things are so handy. It's like the most underrated gold prospecting tool, especially for at home work. I, I never use it on the river, but here at home, it's like I, I couldn't live without one of these squirt bottles. They're really cheap on Amazon. They're like five or six bucks. I also sell them on kleshgold.com along with the panning kits. If you guys want a gold panning kit, they're only 20, 25 bucks, I think. 20 or 25 bucks. Kleshgold.com, you can check them out. But yeah, you need one of these. You don't know you that you need it until you don't have one anymore. Jet dry. All right, let's do our final cleanup here for our fines, for our minus 30 here. This is everything that was in the snuffer bottle, obviously. It's the same thing we were doing before. It's just a, a bit easier now. Man, that black sand still wants to move. There we go. I just moved all the gold up to the top. Okay. We're going to trick it. We're going to move the gold up. Grab everything from the top half because we know that's mostly gold. And then we'll pan this little bit out and grab the flower gold a little bit at a time. Yeah, definitely very tricky stuff. Challenging is the word I should say. There's a piece over here that I missed. I don't know how I missed that flake. clean up. Okay. Should be a lot easier this time. too aggressive it goes all over the place you got to be really really slow with it there we go Tilt it forward, tap all that gold to, the, to a corner. And then wash everything else out of the pan. Okay. And that's what we're left with right there. Not too bad. Let's dry it out and then weigh it up. All right, so I wanna keep all these gemstones and everything that I, class, that I panned off. So we'll just run it through the kitchen strainer. And 
there we go. Our gemstones. Cool. Man, that's a lot of cool stuff. So yeah, this is what it looks like in the pan. Pretty nice, for sure. Uh, those pickers are pretty impressive, and we got a lot of little flakes of gold, so let's throw it in the scale, see what it weighs. Should we get all that flower gold? All right. So our final weight is... I really wish you could see that. 0 0.490, so we got almost a half a gram of gold in here. That's pretty good. We have, I, I spent about, I don't know, 20 minutes with uh, the tweezers, picking out all the little gemstones and, and things. So that's what that looks like in that little jar. Figured I'd put it to a good use. Uh, that's not including these two pieces of amethyst and this blue one. Of course, our 1942 Denver uh, Mercury Dime. All right, here we are. Uh, we're going to check the value of this gold. So we got 0 0.490 grams. Um, he said that it's going to be 22 karat gold. Um, we'll, we'll take his word for it. Usually the natural gold like that that I find and that I've tested in previous videos, I've gotten an average of 18 karat gold, but we'll put 22 karat here. Um, we'll click the button and see what the actual dollar value is worth. We have to remove that zero, apparently. $20 almost. $19 worth of gold. That's pretty good. That's not including all the gemstones and everything and the silver dime and the little vial that he threw in there. So, I mean, yeah, man, that's pretty cool, especially for the gem guys if you're interested in gems and stuff like that. I don't know what they're worth. I don't know if they're able to be faceted or anything like that. I'm not... I never claim to be a gem expert or anything like that, but I don't know really what's in there as far as gems go. I don't even, I don't even, I, I couldn't even identify half of them, but I didn't try either. So there you go. Marty Mart 827 on eBay, otherwise known as Golden Pater Reviews on YouTube. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, of course, um, consider subscribing. I put out a new video every three days. So thanks everybody for watching. If you're still here, you're one of the 42% that actually watched the entire video. So thanks so much for that. It really helps the show. Also, huge thanks to all of my Patreon supporters and channel members scrolling right here. If you like this video, definitely consider subscribing, hitting the like button, and also checking out the video I have linked right over there. It's very relevant to what you just watched. And thanks for watching.